Northrop Grumman, in association with NASA's Ames Research Center, is building a spacecraft called L-Cross with the mission of determining whether water and ice exists deep within craters at the moon's polar regions. It's a straightforward mission with possibly profound ramifications. In many ways, it is the first step that we humans are taking back into space. Early in 2009, an object with the weight of an SUV traveling at 6,000 miles per hour will crash into the cold, perpetually shadowed floor of the crater. The impact will dislodge a significant amount of materials and create a plume clearly visible from even modest telescopes on Earth. Instruments on board the L-Cross satellite and elsewhere will analyze the plume for water or compounds that contain water. The results could have a significant impact on the future of space exploration, opening a new frontier for generations to come. Many students will be involved in the mission, monitoring the system's status during its 90-day flight, using a former deep space tracking network antenna to listen to its vital signs. This will be a very big story, and although the event will be of short duration, it will play an important part in reawakening the public to the adventure of space travel, supporting human exploration and scientific discovery. And it will take place right in our local neighborhood, in our backyard.